Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe and today we're back at it with another episode of The Evil Within 2. So in the last episode, we actually had trekked through the tunnels to get to City Hall. So now it looks like we actually are at the uh, base of the City Hall right here. So we're going to head up the ladder and then uh, hopefully get to Lily because this is where the last known location was per Liam O'Neill. I'm just hoping that uh, he's not sending us on a random wild goose chase for no reason at all because now we're at a completely different part of Union. And by different part, I mean, I don't know if we're up in the sky, flat on the surface, but uh, yeah, part of Union is over there. Another part this is way up home. there. Gotta stop this guy and save Lily. And this is City Hall right there where the clock tower is, and that's the other part right there of of Union. And Yeah, see. I can't actually get down for some reason. But uh if you look on the left hand column. There's City Hall area, there's Residential area, and then there's the Marrow, which that's three diff completely different parts of the game. So let's head right to the front gate, which is where City Hall is. And what the... There's the camera guy. It's him. I don't know any other way to refer to this guy right now. If we literally have no information on him. Shit. What the fuck is that? Whoa. Up there in the sky. And this now kicks off chapter 5, lying in wait. Not sure I'm ready for this. But I can't turn back now. Yeah, we've come too far. Just want to make sure we're not overlooking anything. How do we get inside? I mean, this is barbed wire shut. We have a soldier right here. Well, Lack of better terms, a Mobius agent. Yeah, Waiting for you, wait, asshole. Where were we, and how did he get this picture? Nothing written on the back. That is one for the file, regardless, though. What is going on here? Wait a minute. Union City Hall, did we... Did we just get transformed, like, inside the barbed wire where we couldn't get in the first time? I think so, and what is happening here? Why does this head look so... Oh, we can't leave now. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is who we encountered in Chapter 2. Alright, guys. Looks like we're in for a boss fight. Shoot and run. <laughs> oh, you know what? I got an idea. That's leaking gasoline. Well, if Sebastian didn't, uh... What the heck? Wait, I still have a chance. Oh, I don't think that works. Shoot. What I was gonna try and do is get her to walk over that gasoline and then shoot the gasoline and ignite her. But uh, I kind of mistimed all of that. Wait, where is she? Wait a minute, I see movement over there. I think she knows I'm here. Oh, there she is! Shoot! Well, the handgun's clearly not doing it. We are gonna... Shoot. No. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun. There she is. I'm 
trying to avoid those, uh, her hand because I don't know if that's an instant kill or not. Oh my god, I have unloaded so much ammo on her. And I got a trophy not running this time. You're right, I'm not running. 5,000 green gel. Beautiful. With a capital B. Now I can actually see if we can take some stuff. The truck is still leaking gasoline. Some gunpowder, handgun ammo. I see more weapon parts over here in, in the tall grass. Wow, we literally had no chance to breathe. It was literally go time from the get-go. Alright. Now I completely am out of, uh... Uh... Well, I'm out of backup shotgun ammo. Where's my, uh... Wait, I forgot I moved a lot of stuff around in my menu, so I just gotta get used to where everything is. Nothing in this crate. All of that is blocked off. Can't really see anything. Oh! More weapon pots. Now let's check this side. Yeah, stay down. Will I ever see you again? I sure hope not. <laughs> More weapon pots. Yeah, I don't really want to try hitting that. I have no idea what the purpose of this area is. Unless I was supposed to, like, trap her in here. Well, maybe as an optional thing, but I didn't really need to. I just unloaded every handgun ammo. Oh, wait a minute, there's something in there. I saw something flash. Right here. Nice! An explosive. Oh, I could have used that on her. Oh, well. There's always another boss, there's always other enemies I can use that on. More weapon parts or something he More handgun ammo. More gunpowder. I have a lot of gunpowder. Like a crazy amount of gunpowder. And we have more stuff over here. Something flashing right there. Oh, nice! I can reach through the fence to... Oh! And that, too. Yes, give me. I didn't know I could actually do that, reach through the fence. I don't see anything else, so let's go around the other side. Sniper rifle ammo, but I have a damaged sniper rifle, so that right now is kind of useless. Until I fix the sniper, which I would like to do eventually. And there's a camera right there. Whoa, 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 this spell's dangerous. Go ahead and blow that up. Not even gonna try it. Wait for the fire to go away. I did leave some stuff lying around. Weapon pots, weapon pots, more weapon pots. Nothing. Oh, we can go in the boss. Take the bottle, because I did have to use it in the last episode to fend off some guys. More handgun bullets. Whoa, not gonna try that. I'm just gonna throw it in here. 
Very, very lightly. Is there anything in the outhouses? Nope. Okay. Another whole area over here. More weapon parts. More weapon parts. That's shotgun shells, and I can't get it out. Oh, shoot. We gotta be careful. That's gonna blow up on us. Slow. Oh, yeah. We have an explosive bolt. Let's grab this one. Nice. Nothing. There's a door over here, but I want to see what's down here first. Did something flash? Oh, it's a bottle, which I can't pick up. And over here... I believe... We picked up the, the um, nice harpoon bolt. More gunpowder. Yeah, we picked up the handgun ammo and the uh, shotgun ammo from the other side of this fence. Uh, that guy's not carrying anything. Something over here. It's another bottle that I can't take. Um, I don't see anything else. That bottle I also cannot take. Now, can I go through here? Is this like a, a storage area? So I know we're supposed to go through the... Oh, okay. We gotta force our way in. In we go. Um, shoot. Oh, no. I can't get out. Crap. I think mistakes were made here, guys. <laughs> I really hope this is just another entry point. I'm not stuck here for all eternity. Oh, oh no, I didn't. Okay. You down, sir. Yes, you are. I'm taking your gunpowder. Oh, there's another one. That was a one-hit kill. Grab the green gel from you. Which we have a lot of. We have a lot of green gel. We gotta get back to the hub and uh, start upgrading some of our stuff. Um, I can't access that circuit breaker. There's nothing else over here. Oh, actually, I think I have to move that. I hope I can move it. Can I push this? Alright, I can push it. Alright. Union City Hall. Oh, wait, are we actually inside and we just... Okay, I think we actually are inside City Hall. We just went a different uh, entrance. And there's somebody down over here and he's still moving. Who's there? It's okay. Harrison, right? I'm not one of them. Oh, he's one of the Mobius agents. Who are you? Don't worry. O'Neill sent me. I... Uh, I thought I was the only one left. I'm looking for the core. Where is she? Is she here? S second floor. The stable field emitter. Emitter? Forget about that. I'm here to find the core. You must turn on the emitter. It, it will stabilize the environment. Without it, 
Union will completely collapse. Then the core won't matter. Turn it on. It will affect his power. His power? You mean... Take this. Use it to turn on the emitter. Oh, boy. Miles Harrison, yeah, he's one of the five Mobius agents that uh, Julie Kidman sent in to find. And now he's deceased. Another team member down. Wish I could have gotten more info. Don't worry, Lily. I'm still gonna find you. I know there's a way around that. Oh, we have a file. Argent structural issues. Alright, we'll hold on to that. I saw something back here. Oh, we have a save point and we also have a workbench. Yeah, let's check out the workbench. We did manage to find some pots lying around, but doesn't feel like it's a lot to go on. Mmm. I can't really do anything with that. Ammo capacity, nope. So, at this point of the shotgun, I'm pretty much maxed out until I find, like, a high-grade weapon pot. Alright, you know what? We may as well. We're gonna go ahead and increase the fire rate on the, uh, handgun. There we go. Or, correction, decrease it, not increase it. Wow. Alright, what do we have for, uh... You know, I'm not gonna craft any ammunition at this point. Well, actually, you know what? I could do smoke... Yeah, I could do that. Explosive bolts were maxed out on. Yeah, I may as well. Now, I'm missing a smoke bomb, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, sure. And I play in metal... Po yeah, we can craft uh, some popcorn bolts. Alright, so we're in pretty good shape right now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save it, and I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode right here, guys. So thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of The Evil Within 2 here on Gotham Lounge. Oh, excuse me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video, and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new episode. And last but not least, please check out my friend Troy over at the Tilted Trojan on Twitch for excellent live gameplay. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below for you guys to go check him out. And just let him know that Joe from Gotham Lounge had sent you. So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of The Evil Within 2 here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.